corporate giants such as Microsoft, Lucent, etc. Twice a year, uh, Maharaj finds time to give extended courses at universities in Asia. Uh, despite a demanding travel schedule, Maharaj cares for each individual that crosses his path, even by visiting people in their homes simply for their benefit. His Holiness Rompad Maharaj's life is a living testimony to the desire of his teacher, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, to have exemplary people guiding the society. People especially note his consistent patience in answering questions and his peacefulness, humility, and tolerance. He serves as a senior teacher and administrator with the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So with that, let us welcome Maharaj to Hare Krishna Temple of Austin by loudly chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra one time. Together, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Shri Rompal Maharaj Ki Jai. So with that, Maharaj, I'll turn it over to you. Okay. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale, Srimati Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasate Deve, Gauravani Pracharine, Nirvishesha Shunyavadi, Paschacha Desacharine, Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Srivasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare Hare. Somehow, in your Vaishnav calendar, Lord Nityananda's appearance day is today, but ours in Chicago, it's tomorrow. So I get to observe Lord Nityananda's appearance day twice, today and tomorrow. Lord Nityananda is to Lord Chaitanya as Krishna is to Balaram. Rajendra Nandana ye sachi sutta hoilo se Balaram hoilo nitai. Krishna has come as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the son of Mother Sachi. And Balaram has come as Lord Nityananda. The two lords, as in Krishna's Leela, the two lords were inseparable. And in Gora Leela, the two lords were carrying out the same mission, but there were times when they were not together we're going to hear something about that for example the first uh, 12 years before Lord Chaitanya appeared Balaram excuse me Lord Nityananda had already appeared he was 12 years older than Lord Chaitanya in a different town different mother and father and after they, they were united, they were very, very close with one another, always by one another's side, engaging in the Sankirtan activities. But they were separated at a certain point in time. We'll just give a quick description of that. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who's the drawing here is on our left, that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had taken sannyas at the young age of 24. And when he accepted sannyas, we'll hear something further about this this evening. Uh, he made a request in Jagannath Puri of Lord Nityananda. I appeared in this world to establish the Yuga Dharma, the chanting of the holy name, but here I am in Jagannath Puri, staying here because of the request of my mother. So I request you 
to go to Bengal. I'll give some of my associates who are like-minded like you. And you can spread the holy name throughout the whole of Bengal, throughout the whole of the land. And then Bengal was much bigger than it is today. The, what was known as Bengal was vast, vast, vast territory. And as you see, Nityananda didn't want to part from Lord Chaitanya. But his life and soul was carrying out the order of Lord Chaitanya, and so he left, along with a number of other associates who are described in Chaitanya Bhagwat, and their activities were most amazing. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu um, conducted his activities as a brahmana, now sannyasi. But Lord Nityananda conducted his activities as if an avaduta. Avaduta means he made no consideration of ordinary convention. He um, was very spontaneous in his expressions of devotion. And many of those who were sent with him by Lord Chaitanya, their mood was that of cowherd boys in Krishna's pastimes. There was one who was in the mood of a young gopi. We'll hear something further about that as we go along. But they were headed from Jagannath Puri to go to Navadweep, the birthplace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And as they traveled, they were constantly singing Krishna's name and constantly dancing, but not ordinary singing, dancing. It was Prem Kirtan. And they had completely lost touch of which way was which and where they were, whether it was day or night. Sometimes they would ask, which way to Navadweep? And somebody would point, it's this way. And they'd start traveling this way and go for days and days, not even knowing where they were, and ask somebody else, no, it's that way. And in this, so traveling in this way, they were like madmen. And whoever saw them, because their mood was a mood of ecstatic love for Krishna, people would become stunned seeing them, not just surprised but spiritually moved. And they would begin dancing and chanting an ecstatic love of Godhead. One of the associates that was with Lord Nityananda, his name was Gadadhar. Not Gadadhar Pandit, but Gadadhar Das. And his mood was that of a, a, a gopi. And he would walk into the marketplace and just call out loudly, anyone would like to buy some milk? <laughs> he was lost to the external world. He was absorbed in ecstatic devotion, but carrying out the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And in one town that they passed through, there was a well-known Kazi who was very, very, cruel, and he really disliked Hindus, and he particularly disliked the chanting of the holy name. In the evening, in the dead of night, Gadadhar Das went into the, inside the gate, inside his home, and started dancing and calling out loudly, chant Hari, chant Hari, he woke up the guards. They had fallen asleep, but the Kazi came to the top of the stairs, looked down over the staircase, and saw this madman dancing in his front lobby, and asked, who, who are you? He said, I've come here to deliver the pure holy name. Please call out, Hari, Hari. And his mood was so astonishing, not just surprising, but spiritually powerful, the Kazi could have had him killed. <laughs> 
That's the kind of person he was. But instead, he said, It's very late tonight. Come back tomorrow and I can chant the name of Hari. And Gadadhar jumped for joy and said, You've already said Hari, Hari, and he danced out the front door. The interest of these transcendental madmen was simply to engage people in calling genuinely or however calling the name of Krishna. This was their life and soul. And in this way they traveled throughout the whole of Bengal giving love of God through the chanting of the holy name to whoever they met, whoever was fortunate enough to cross their path. This was the mood of Lord Nityananda and his associates, whoever came in contact with him. Now we're going to discuss a little bit about his birth and his childhood. This is a photograph of the place in Ekra Chakra where it is said Garbhavas, the place where Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda was born, the very spot so the shrine was built because it was at the house of Hadai Pandit in Padmavati many, many, many years ago. And to the left of this temple, uh, to the shrine, there's a there's an altar where you see here this uh, photograph of the deity of Lord Nityananda that's found there. And a very, very special painting of Lord Nityananda in the mood of absorbed love of God, very similar to the mood that you've seen paintings of Lord Chaitanya like this. When he was growing up in Ekra Chakra, just a little boy, he his play, because little boys play, right? His play was constantly enacting pastimes of Krishna and Lord Ramachandra. Here you see him with a bow, and the boy behind him also has a bow. And he knew, he was the, the uh, he gave everybody their script. He was the director and he was the chief actor. <laughs> Little boy. And, you know, pastime after pastime, as you see on the ground, there's a club and so many details and details and details of Krishna's pastimes and, and Ramchandra's pastimes. There's a little lake when, we, when you go there. You can see in the way in the back, there's a little lake. And he had some boys take some branches from some trees and make like Kaliya serpent. And he was Krishna dancing on the hoods of the Kaliya serpent. And the cowherd boys were told to faint. And there's so many things, so many things. He was playing Lakshman because as Lord Nityanand is Balaram, so also Lakshman is an expansion of Balaram. So he was shot with the Shakti Shela weapon and fell to the ground unconscious. And everybody was astonished. I mean, he had told them what to do. But when they saw him fall to the ground, they had such affection for him. They, they, they forgot everything. And some parents came along and saw, what's this? And he said, well... He's Lakshman and he got hit by the Shakti Shela weapon and he's unconscious. It looked like he's not breathing. And they, he said, he, did he say what to do? Yes, one boy was supposed to be Hanuman going to get the mountain and get the herbs and he was going to be attacked by a crocodile. We forgot all that. So he, he went and one of the boys was a crocodile and grabbed the leg of the other and Hanuman beat him and bricked up the mountain and brought it to Lakshman, and immediately Lakshman was revived. And the parents were asking each other, where did he learn all these pastimes? He, he hasn't even gone to school yet. <laughs> just, just a little boy playing and playing and playing. And so they asked him, Nimai, Nitai, where did you learn this? And he said, these are my pastimes. And they, of course, considered to be little boys' talk. But 
They were his pastimes, and he was enacting them with all of his friends. In course of time, he uh, found a deity. We'll see a photograph of the deity, Banke Roy, and he worshipped the deity, held the deity to his chest, and was very affectionate, and this deity was affectionate to him. And after some time, when Sanyasi came to Ekachakra, because he was traveling to holy places throughout all of India, and when he came to town, then the learned elder Brahmin, Hadai Pandit pictured here, and his wife in the background, Padmavati, naturally they invited him to come to their home, have his meal, and they discussed pastimes and topics of Krishna all night long without even sleeping. And the Brahmana was very happy to see the kind of devotion, the quality of devotion of his father, but he was particularly attracted to this young boy who was just 12 years old. And the next morning before leaving, the, the sannyasi requested Hadai Pandit, please send your son with me so I have someone to assist me in my travels. And it was a rasa similar to Dasrath being asked by Vishwamitra to send his son, Lord Ramachandra, to go with Vishwamitra to kill terrible demons. Similar, Hadai Pandit and Padmavati couldn't bear separation, but they couldn't say no to the Brahmana. And so off he went and traveled down the road. This is the road that through, runs through Ekachakra, very, very close to Hadai Pandit's home. And Hadai Pandit and his wife just watched him walking away, like you see this two people walking down the road until they couldn't see him anymore and fell to the ground unconscious. They were unable to eat for months and they died of separation from Nimai, no, Nittai, excuse me, Nittai. In the course of their travels, they went to many, many holy places and one of the holy places they visited was in Pandarpur. Lord Vital is the presiding deity in Pandarpur and and Lord Nityananda was staying at the home of one Brahmana and at the same Brahmana he was hiding, the same Brahmana was also being visited periodically by Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. There's a very sweet exchange. Lakshmi Pati Tirtha said to the Brahmana, I'm, I've been to your home many times in the past, but I'm feeling something very, very special. Is there a very special personality also within your home? And he said, yes. Because Lord Nityananda was concealing himself. But Lakshmi Pati Tirtha could discern his presence. And they spent days together discussing Krishna topics. And Lakshmi Pati Tirtha, who was also guru of Madhavendra Puri, gave him diksha. After this, uh, Lord Nityananda traveled further. There he met Madhavendra Puri. They spent some time together as well. We heard during the appearance day of Advaita Acharya. Advaita Acharya was a disciple of Madhavendra Puri. But Lord Nityananda was a disciple, was a godbrother of Madhavendra Puri. Very, very fortunate. And in further travels, he went and spent extended time in Vrindavan. There's a nice description of these pastimes. But when you visit in Vrindavan, one of the places likely you'll go is this place. It's called Nityanandavat or Sringaravat. There's the tree and the place, the sitting place with that little set of steps where Lord Nityananda would sit, feeling mood of separation from Lord Chaitanya, his eternal associate. He was simply waiting and waiting 
for Lord Chaitanya to begin his devotee pastimes. Before that, it was his scholar pastimes. Another place where he spent time was at Radhakund. And he, there's a little temple that shows the, the sitting place. So you don't need it. It's about. <laughs> That's Prabhupada's voice singing a song about Lord Nityananda. This is his, the sitting place where Lord, Ch Lord Nityananda would sit and absorb himself in love of Godhead in anticipation of Lord Chaitanya's beginning his devotee pastimes. You see the painting here, this or a photograph, rather, is the photograph of the deity in Eka Chakra, the very same deity in Eka Chakra. When Lord Chaitanya began his Sankirtan activities, his devotee activities, he traveled to Navadweep. And there's a fantastic, wonderful description of the two eternal associates meeting for the first time. Like Krishna and Balaram, they grew up together. Ram and Lakshman, they grew up together. But these two lords met when they were young men. The description goes like this. Lord Chaitanya told his, uh, his associates, last night I had a dream. In my dream, I saw... <clears throat> a great heroic person riding at a golden chariot, effulgent like ten suns, and wearing wonderful ornaments and garlands, and he was coming straight to Navadweep. That I, my understanding of that dream as a great personality has come to Navadweep. So he sent some associates to go, looking everywhere in the whole of Navadweep to find him, a newly arrived saintly person. And they searched and searched and searched and searched all day long and couldn't find. So Lord Chaitanya said, I know where he is. He's at the house of Nandanacharya. And those of you who have been to Mayapur, or when you do go to Mayapur, you'll most certainly visit the house of Nandanacharya because it's right next door to our ISKCON temple the house of Nanda Nacharya. It's now a temple, a Gaudiya temple. <clears throat> and he went straight to where he was, the house of Nanda Nacharya. And immediately he called his name. <laughs> and Lord Nityananda came out of his hiding place. He has this transcendental funny mood sometimes. He does things like this. And the two lords met and embraced and danced and chanted in a big festival. Now the two lords are united. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, Lord Nityananda was a bit of an avaduta. And one of his avaduta pastimes is in relation to the wife of Srivas Pandit. In the Panchatattva, Srivas Adigora Bhaktarinda. Srivas Pandit's wife was named Malini. And Lord Nityananda, in his avaduta mood, would come to her place, but he wouldn't eat. And so he required, like a little boy, for her to feed him. And she was very happy <laughs> to treat Lord Nityananda like a little boy, an avaduta boy. And she would feed him rice and whatever he wanted. And a very wonderful pastime happened. You see a crow on the windowsill. So what happened was she, Malini, was preparing the puja paraphernalia for her husband's worship of his Shalagram Shila. And a crow flew in the window and his beak picked up the, 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 the uh, flask or the container that had ghee and a whole tray and flew out the window. And Malini started to cry. She was thinking, this is for my husband's worship and he'll be very disappointed and what am I going to do? 
So Lord Nityananda stood up, went to the window and ordered the crow, bring back that plate and bring back the ghee. And immediately the crow flew back and placed it right in front of Malini. And she fainted. Now she, that in other words, she could understand this personality is a divine personality. But the, the affection, Lord, according to Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he, Lord Nityananda was hiding his divinity. And so to do that, he asked her, give me some rice. And she very she forgot everything and became absorbed in motherly affection again and was feeding Lord Nityananda. And in many, many different ways. His, his pastimes are very astonishing, very difficult to understand. When the two lords were together, we find Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu giving to Lord Nityananda and Haridas the following instruction. Listen, listen, Nityananda. Listen, Haridas. Make my command known everywhere. Go from house to house and beg from all the residents. Please chant Krishna's name. Worship Krishna and teach others to follow Krishna's instructions. Do not speak or cause anyone to speak anything other than this. The beginning of the Sankirtan, going door to door, giving people the holy name and pleading with them to become purified. Now, these people were, although there was India, they were, they were quite, material, unfortunately, very materialistic. And that was the regret of Advaita Charya. So they took the instruction. But once again, Lord Nityananda was something of a madman. Sometimes when he would go to save the crocodiles, he'd go jump in the Ganges and swim around. And people on, this, on the bank, as you see, would call out, and he would just ignore them, splashing the crocodiles with water. And he came to the shore, and then he would take the, the clothes of the brahmanas that were saying their midday Gayatri and take their dhotis and hide them. Or take one dhoti from here, put it over there, and the other dhotis over there, put it over here and get it all mixed up. And the... the Brahmins will complain to Haridas, what, you, what are you doing? <laughs> he said, I can't help it. He's a madman. <laughs> I have no control over him. So he went, Haridas went and complained to Lord Chaitanya, please don't send me with him. He's, he's too wild. And Lord Chaitanya just smiled, said, you continue. Everything will be all right. So when Lord Nityananda saw two drunkards Jaghai and Madhai, going through the marketplace wild and beating on people and stealing things and making all kinds of trouble and noise and very powerful. He thought, if these two can become devotees, then everyone will understand the power of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That was his intention was to bring honor to and glory and re expose the glories of Lord Chaitanya. So he approached them and asked them to chant Hare Krishna. And as you know what happened, there's the blood on his forehead. They threw a clay pot and smacked him in the head. But he didn't mind. He just said, please chant, please chant. But Lord Chaitanya, he minded and he came with his Sudarshan chakra raised, ready to chop them. And Lord Nityananda stopped him, saying, In this incarnation, you've come not to kill the demons, but to save them. Please save them. Give them your mercy. And Lord Chaitanya's reply, How can I give them my mercy? They've hit you in the head with a clay pot. They've made this big offense. They have to fall at your feet. And you have to give your forgiveness. And then I won't destroy them. So you can see the expression on their face. They got the message. So Jagai and Madhai, they became devotees. Lord Chaitanya said to them, whatever you do, don't do these same activities again. 
And he turned to his associates and said, whatever you do, don't bring up their past activities. They are now Vaishnavas and accept them as Vaishnavas. So Jagai and Madhai didn't not just became Vaishnavas, but they did a service by the side of the Ganges. They made a ghat, a place where people could go and bathe. And they stood on either side of the ghat with their, their palms, palms folded, asking forgiveness for their past heinous activities and to give their blessings so they could become purified by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this is a very significant event in the life of Nityananda and Haridas and in Lord Chaitanya's Leela. They were instruments in Lord Chaitanya's Leela. As time went on, the Sankirtan in Navadweep increased and increased, of course, with Lord Nityananda. And then the further pastime, here is Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explaining to Lord Nityananda, who is weeping, I'm going to take sannyas. He gave some reasons. There's reasons, but time doesn't permit the reasons. So he was very sad. But he understood his, his, the Lord of his life. He can't check his will. It will happen. So after some time, Lord Chaitanya left home in order to take sannyas. He went to Katva, a nearby place from Navadweep. There was Keshava Bharati, a uh, sannyas guru, and he gave him sannyas, mantras, in Katwa. And a attending this sannyas diksha, Lord Nityananda, as you see at the bottom, Gadadhar, whose name I mentioned already, Mukunda, the wonderful singer, and others were also present. And down at the bottom, you may wonder who that is. That's Madhu the barber. It's a really wonderful section of Chaitanya Bhagwat. He, he was asked, it was his profession, barber, as profession. But when he came to cutting Lord Chaitanya's hair, he couldn't do it. He was trembling and trembling and trembling, and it was too much. He couldn't do it. Finally, it took him half the day. He finally did. And Lord Chaitanya, accepting the order of sannyas, was a big astonishment for the, the people of Navadweep and as the assembled Vaishnavas there in Katwa. And together the, the two lords made travel towards Puri under the request of Mother Sachi. And here you see Lord Nityananda breaking the sannyas danda of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's really funny. And on the other side of this river that you see pictured here, there were some temples. And Lord Chaitanya wanted to see the temples and the deities. And so he requested Lord Nityananda, please hold my danda. So while Lord Chaitanya had crossed the river, Lord Nityananda was having a conversation with the danda and scolding the danda. Who are you? This is offensive. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the personality of Godhead, and why should he have to undergo the austerity of carrying a danda and a kamandalu? He broke the stick in three pieces and threw it in the river. A very amazing pastime. When Lord Chaitanya discovered that the danda had been broken, that gave him cause for entering Jagannath Puri alone. He said, I don't want to travel with you anymore. My only worldly possession is my danda, and you broke it. You lost it. So I don't want to be with you anymore. I mean, it's a pastime. And so you go ahead, and I'll wait, or I'll go and you wait. Because they saw the, the dome of the Puri temple. So that's when Lord Chaitanya entered the temple alone, saw the deity fainted, and another pastime was enacted. So all of this is Lord Nityananda's involvement in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes. A very famous song, many of you may know the song, Nitai Pada Kamala, Koti Chandra Sushitala. Very famous song by Naratam Das Thakur. Here's the translation of the first line. The lotus feet 
of Lord Nityananda are the shelter where one will get the soothing moonlight, not only of one, but of millions of moons. If the world wants to have real peace, it should take shelter of Lord Nityananda. And thus one takes shelter under the shade of the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. It will be very difficult for him to approach Radha Krishna. If one actually wants to enter into the dancing party of Radha Krishna, he must firmly catch hold of the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. So this is Narottam Das Thakur's writing. This is a very celebrated song, very much loved by the devotees, and here's a nice illustration to show what he's saying. If one actually wants to enter into the dancing party of Radha Krishna, grasp hold of the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. Here's someone grasping hold of Lord Nityananda's lotus feet right in his chest. Now, who is this? This is Shivananda Sain getting mercy, getting the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. The, the, the pastime is when the devotees were going from Bengal once a year to attend the, the Puri Rathiatra, it's a long journey. They didn't have trains or planes. They had to go by foot. And Shivananda Sain took care of all their accommodations and their meals and crossing and from one Muslim territory to another, paying taxes, and it was very dangerous. But he took care of everybody's everything. Several hundred devotees. You know, those of you that have looked after some festival, supposing you have to look after the Janmashtami festival. Meals, accommodation, kirtan, this and that, deity worship. And one day, it's like a big deal. And they traveled for nearly a whole month to get to Puri. And he was take care, taking care of, he was a very capable person. But one day, because he was tied up, taking care of some paying of taxes, etc., they got to the, the, the place where they were supposed to spend the night, and he hasn't made arrangements yet. So when finally he showed up, Lord Nityananda became very angry externally. It was a leela, and kindly gave him his foot in his chest with a hard kick and scolded him. But, of course, Shivananda Sain understood, oh, he's giving me his mercy. So, maybe Shivananda Sain ended up in Radha Krishna's Rasalila by getting the mercy of Lord Nityananda's lotus feet. Lord Nityananda is celebrated for giving the association of Lord Chaitanya to Raghunath Das Goswami. This is a pastime that takes place at Panihati. There's a big celebrated festival. You see some persons in the Ganges water because there were so many persons assembled. Lord Chaitanya, excuse me, Lord Nityananda said that the Raghunath, you have to feed everybody. So there was a festival of feeding everybody. It's, there's details and looking at the clock and the details there isn't time for. But he, Raghunath Das, wanted Lord Nityananda's mercy because he had tried this and tried that and tried the other thing to get Lord Chaitanya's association. He thought, maybe Lord Nityananda can give me that mercy so I can get Lord Chaitanya's association. And that's what happened. That's what happened. By Lord Nityananda's mercy, Raghunath Das got Lord Chaitanya's association. And... In the case of Krishna Das Kaviraj, you see he's in the painting at the bottom left corner. Krishna Das Kaviraj writes in Chaitanya Charitamrita that an associate of Lord Yatananda, whose name was Mini Ketanaram, was invited to take part in a in a uh, festival at the home at his home at. Krishna Das Kaviraj's home. His brother was there who had faith in Lord Chaitanya but not in Lord Nityananda. And a devotee was doing puja, Gunarnava Mishra. Anyway, there's details. They disrespected Lord Nityananda. And so Mini Ketana Ram understood. He broke his flute because he was a flute player. 
and left in an angry mood. So Krishna Das chastised his brother strongly. You have the logic of a half of a hen. You like Lord Chaitanya, but you don't like Lord Nityananda. You have faith in Lord Chaitanya, but not, you'll, this is a big offense and you'll fall down. And Krishna Das Kaviraj writes, from that very moment, by offending Mini Ketana Ram, indirectly off offending Lord Nityananda, he fell down. That doesn't say where he fell down to, but he fell. That night, in a dream, this is a dream painting, Krishna Das saw Lord Nityananda dressed very opulently, radiant, shining, carrying his stick for herding cows in his mood as a cowherd boy, and smiled and joyfully appreciated what Krishna Das Kaviraj had rightly said and done. And he gave him the instruction, immediately you should go to Vrindavan and worship Radha Krishna. That very night, Krishna Das left for Vrindavan and didn't return. <laughs> he was granted residence in Vrindavan by Lord Nityananda. And something similar happened with Jiva Goswami. Much later, Jiva Goswami was the son of Rupa and Sanatan Goswami's brother, or he was their nephew. And he, when he was, he, he was very young, his father died. He grew up and did his studies, and he wanted to visit the place of Lord Chaitanya's pastimes because Lord Chaitanya had departed. So he went to Navadweep with the permission of his mother. And <clears throat> when he reached Navadweep, who was there but Lord Nityananda? who knew that he was coming, and he came specifically from his home to meet him and took him to all the places of Lord Chaitanya's pastimes as a celebrated um, depiction. And at the end, Lord Nityananda similarly told Jiva Goswami, go to Vrindavan, take shelter of your two uncles, Rupa and Sanatan. They will train you in the teachings of Lord Chaitanya. There was something that happened in between. He went to a place under Lord Nityananda's instruction to study um, the six other non-devotional renderings of Ve the, Ve the Vedanta. And then he went to took association of Rupa and Sanatan by the mercy of Lord Nityananda. So he celebrated for giving resident in Vrindavan shelter of Lord Chaitanya, and he's also celebrated for giving the pure holy name. Now, each one of us, we can request somebody, please chant Hare Krishna. And we do it regularly. But we're, we don't have the capacity that Lord Nityananda had of giving the pure holy name. He was giving the pure holy name, but he had a condition. Lord Chaitanya told him, the condition is, you have to charge a proper price. And the proper price is faith. There's a wonderful song by Bhakti know Thakur about this. So this was his life in service to Lord Chaitanya. And together, the two lords, Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda, they engaged in their wonderful Sankirtan pastimes together. And uh, here's a, a nice deity form of the Lord. The two lords, Gornatai. Of course, it's a very old style. And in our Sridham Mayapur, this is Lord Nityananda with his left hand gesturing at the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And here's a close up of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in golden complexion and his dear brother associate, Lord Nityananda. Now, because in Austin, Texas, and many other places in America, you're observing Lord Nityananda's appearance day today, I'm going to be speaking again tomorrow, so I save some special pastimes to tell tomorrow, so you can tune in tomorrow and hear some additional pastimes. 
So I kept within the time frame. We have another 10 minutes if there's some questions or discussion over there in Austin. You can uh, unmute yourself and speak or something like that. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna devotees, please feel free to raise your hand so we can ask question Maharaj sequentially. Uh, Pushpanjali Mataji has a question. Please unmute and ask Mataji. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and you. Maharaj, uh, you talked about Ek Chakra. This whole day I was wondering uh, if I would get a chance to ask about this. Um, uh, devotees, they talk about uh, staying in the Dham, Vrindavan, uh, uh, Mayapur. Uh, I never heard devotees talking about staying in Ek Chakra, like, you know, at the end of their life or during their life. Uh, what do you, uh, can you please enlighten me, Maharaj? Prabhupada gave special significance to Vrindavan and Mayapur. There is a temple, an Iskand temple, in Ekachakra. There is a guest house in Ekachakra. But going there to reside, uh, the, the, the same <clears throat> standard of Sangha and everything else, is, is not there. The international temple, temples are primarily these two, Mayapur and Vrindavan. So if you wanted, you can go and visit, but I wouldn't recommend that you make that your retirement place. Although it's a sacred place, you go there and visit. And the distance between Eka Chakra and Mayapur it's just a few hours. A lot depends on the condition of the roads because the roads can be completely washed out, literally, and uh, makes it difficult to get there. Thank you so much, Maharaj. <clears throat> the next question, Swarnamanjari Mataji, please unmute. Yeah. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Shri Prabhupada and to you. My question is around the, I've heard the uh, pastime of Jagai and Madai many times, and this question, this thought has always crept into my mind. Did they start chanting and become devotees oh, out, of the, out of fear or love? They became purified, so it became love. They, express, they, ex, they experience purity experience. and gratitude, not fear. Thank you. <clears throat> if there's nobody else there, we have some, some devotees in the room here. We can invite them to speak if they want. Yes, Maharaj, please. Anyone? How about our host family? Some thoughts? Uh, Namaskar Prabhupada. This is my first uh, occasion to listen to this story. Uh -huh. Very interesting and uh, very captivating. And we feel very lucky to be part of this. Thank you. We're sitting in someone's home, and that's the host. There is one question here. Uh, Radha Damodha Prabhu, please uh, feel free to unmute. Yeah. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, Maharaj, uh, yeah, so that is the story of the pastime of uh, the breaking the danda it's always, uh, fascinated me. Uh, and. I was wondering, is uh, Nityananda Prabhu was telling a lie uh, to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Yes, he was. <laughs> How do I reconcile that, Maharaj? <clears throat> he is the Lord, and his interest is one, Lord, Ch Lord Chaitanya's interest. And... The, the pastime 
that the, the coming up pastime was, Lord Chaitanya was to enter the Jagannath Puri temple, see Lord Jagannath, become captivated in ecstasy of love of God, and go running to the deity and collapse and faint. Now the pastime wouldn't have worked if they were all together. So they had to be separated. So this was a way for them to be separated. And, you know, it was done in a way that Lord Chaitanya wanted to do it. Lord Nityananda just does what Lord Chaitanya wants. This is the way of pure devotees. Now, ordinarily, speaking a lie, that's not to be done. And if if you're Lord Nityananda and and Lord Chaitanya wants you to speak a lie, you speak a lie. <laughs> it's pastime, it's Leela. Thank you. The, 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 I'll, I'll share something. <clears throat> Years ago, he, he, he's no longer alive, but there was a very elder um, in his 80s, um, Sadhu, who was taking care of some deities in um, the, 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 what's the town? The town where there's a, a grove of chumpak trees. Uh, uh, Gorgadadhar deities, I forget the name of the town, in, in the nine islands of Navadweep. It's original deities that Lord Chaitanya gave to um, one of his dear associates. He personally, because Lord Chaitanya went to see him, saying, I'm going to take sannyas. And um, this devotee said, no, no, no. I, I can't live without you. Please don't take sannyas. We won't see you again. So Lord Chaitanya it was so affectionate. He personally manifested two deities of Lord Chaitanya and Gadadhar. So that's Gaur Gadadhar deities. And during Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's time, he found those deities. They had been lost. They were in a shed somewhere, remote place. Bhakti Siddhanta found them, divinely divined where they were because he was searching. And he entrusted the worship of those deities to a teenage boy who his whole life worshipped those deities. And every day, because I didn't speak Bengali, but he was saying in Bengali to our guide, every day I read that pastime and I meditate on that pastime of Nityananda breaking the danda and the significance of it. It's very deep. Now, we, we said it very quickly, but he his life he was he was he was an elevated person. Every day, that was his meditation. That pastime must be very deep pastime, huh? Spend your whole lifetime meditating on that one pastime, and who knows what I don't. Circumstance, something came up. I can't remember what it was that came up. We, we couldn't ask him, tell us, share your realizations about that pastime. It couldn't happen because of some reason, I forget. And then that elder person, he was in his 80s. He left his body next time we came back because I wanted to go back and ask him, sit with a the, with the translator and ask, what's your realizations? So each of these pastimes, there's full of meaning. Just like the question you asked specifically, <clears throat> why did he lie? I gave a very quick answer. But there's, I'm sure, <clears throat> much more profound answer than Lord Chaitanya wanting to go into the Jagannath temple alone. So the pastime... <clears throat> of saving Sarvabhuma Bhattacharya could occur, and all of the events that flowed. When the Supreme Lord enacts pastimes, there are many, 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 many details. It's described, they, it flows like waves in a river, and it keeps moving. The, the bhavas, 
that mix and make prema, they keep moving and moving like waves in a river. And so when you're in the pastime, when you're Lord Nityananda, you move according to the wave of Lord Chaitanya for his pleasure. Okay, our hour is up. Um, Maharaj, we have three more minutes. Could you please take one more question? There is one. Sure. Here. I'm looking at a clock that says, okay, it is three more minutes. That clock on the wall is fast. <laughs> okay. um, Prabhakar Prabhu, please unmute and ask. Hare Krishna Maharaj, uh, my humble obeisances to you. Uh, I'm a, a new devotee. Um, I've been practicing Krishna consciousness for past uh, two years or so. Um, I have a very basic question, Maharaj. Um, whenever I see a, a Panchitattva picture, I get confused between Nityananda Prabhu and Gadadara Prabhu. Um, who is who, like, always, right? When I used to identify Nityananda Prabhu with the the blue dhoti, uh, but if they are, you know, the deities are dressed up nicely and, and the colors switched, I get confused. <laughs> so how do I identify where, you know, is always Nityananda Prabhu to the left of uh, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or, or is there any, uh, how do I identify Nityananda Prabhu? As in we're Pachita? looking, he's to our left, but he's to Lord Chaitanya's right. Okay, let, 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 do this, do this. When you look at the deity of Radha Krishna, Radha is to Krishna's left or to our right. Correct? Right, right. And Lord Nityananda is to our left or Lord Chaitanya's right. Or when you look at Ra, the Ram and Lakshman, Ram is to our right and Lakshman is to his left, or our, you know, to the left as we're looking. That Lakshman is the same as Nityananda, and Krishna Balaram, when you see the deities of Krishna Balaram in Vrindavan, who is on, as we're looking at the deity, Krishna's on our right, and Balaram is on our left, or he, he's on Krishna's right. Correct, correct. So that's Nityananda. And the other side, Gadadhar, that's Radharani. Oh. I see. Could you say that again, Maharaj? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I said, I, I see. Uh, the Shakti uh, manifestation as Radha is the Shakti, Ladini Shakti of Krishna, and she's on Krishna's left, or as we're looking at the deity, our right. That's where Gadadhar is. Got it, got it. So, so Gatadara is a is a is a is a Radharani. That's and right. He will always be to the left of uh, 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 left of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And from the picture, if you look at it from here, it'll be he'll be on the right of Chaitanya that's Mahaprabhu. Correct. That's right. That's right. Okay. And you go one got more, it. and that's Srivas, and he's Jiva. So, as you're looking at the Panchatattva painting, or deities. Mm -hmm. Vishnu Tattva, Vishnu Tattva, Vishnu Tattva, go the other direction. Shakti Tattva, Jiva Tattva. I see. That's in Chaitanya Charitamrita in the first five chapters. Okay, Prabhu. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj. Okay. Maharaj, uh, that's all the questions. Uh, one of the youth congregation member would like to give a thank you note. Okay. For your, um, Prashant Prabhu, please unmute and... Hi, uh, I, I, Krishna Maharaj. Uh, please accept my humble obeisances. Thank, um, all glories to Shri Prabhupada and to you. Um, th thank you for the wonderful class, Maharaj, for you know enlightening us on Lord Nityananda's pastimes and childhood and his, his story through from... Um, going up all the way to um, meeting Lord Nityananda. Um, and for you know, what, I, what I took away was um, we, we have to grasp the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda if we are to get um, Lord Chaitanya, if we are to get Krishna, if we are to get residence in Vrindavan. Um, and all of that comes with a proper price of faith. So 
Um, th thank you very much, Maharaj, and thank you for your association. More tomorrow. Where it's hey. Nornitinanda's appearance day part two. Haribo. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> Well, thank you very much again uh, for your divine association today. So we are going to continue on with our um, uh, celebration. There is a kids drama coming up next. Uh, please feel free to um, stay on Maharaj or if you have to disconnect, please feel free to do so. I have to disconnect because of the hour over here. Okay, Maharaj. Thank you very much. Hare Hare Krishna. <clears throat> Lord Nityananda, what do you what do you remember? One thing that you remember from this evening? That, um, uh, I'm, I'm not sure about this, but I get I kind of get confused between Lord Nityananda and Lord Chaitanya. But um, while Lord Chaitanya was going to across the river, Lord Nitya. Nanda broke the stick that Nanda. Yeah, the, the yeah. Okay. And I'm not sure if this is correct because, I, or either it's the other way around. But it says that Nitya, uh, Lord Nityananda was came twelve years before um, Lord Chaitanya came. Yeah, twelve years. Yeah, they look, but they're 12 years different. Is there another question? What's that? If he broke the Ganda, did... Was uh, Lord Chaitanya really angry, or did he just use it as an excuse to just yes. go there? <laughs> they only have affection for one another. Just like, you know, anyway. It's not like when people get mad at each other, then... They go and pout for a while. It, it, they're, it, they're, um, it, it's not, okay. it's not. What did you learn? You like past time. There's no battle. Or <laughs> Ramayana and Mahabharata, there's only battle. <laughs> Uh, I got some of the refreshing memory of all those pastimes. It's been a while since I read that book. The Chaitanya Shirtamrita. Marvelous. This, this, this was one hour because they had to go on. So we're going to go on longer. No worries. Hi, Christian.